hi, how are you? I am Jay Fox Unfiltered, and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, JDX. <laughs> yo, 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 I'm sorry I've been gone for that long. I kind of needed to be gone a little bit longer. I'm trying to get like a bunch of affairs in order so that can be like super duper 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 consistent. I know I've said that many times, but it's just been so much, so much, so many graduations, just so much going on. But when I come back, like come back, come back, it's going to be a comeback. But you know, I had to come back a little bit earlier because of, um, you know, he just, Paris, transsexual, Paris Harley, I ain't said that in so long, <laughs> decided to um, come back to YouTube with, with, with more cap. You know, he said, I came back for y'all. No, 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 no. He really did not come back for y'all. He really still at this point, don't, don't, don't fuck with y'all. But I'll tell you why he came back. But first, let's get into some other stuff in this video. Okay. So he said this. I almost felt indebted to you guys. Um, there was a lot of you guys found me because of my series and wanted to keep up with my series. And I wanted to keep giving that to you, even though I wasn't that invested my, myself. There was a lot of lives where people were telling me like, oh, you know, like you don't look interested anymore. You look bored. You look tired. You don't want to hear this anymore. And you guys are right. You were clocking the fuck out of me. I was over it already a long time ago. And I should just let it go. I don't know. Okay, so he said a little bit before that in the um in his live that you know he's all about trying to take accountability. He's trying to do this, that, and the third. You know he's trying to do you know so much, and I'm like, he he still has gotten to where he has done none of that. Like there's no accountability for nothing. So basically, you trying to say Paris that you've been doing this stalkerific, creepy shit for as long as you've been doing it simply because. The, the people made you do it. I mean, everybody that's close, close enough, but ain't none of y'all close over there. But everybody that, like, actually spoke to you off of here, like, um, Ashley, Hedzel, like, they told you a long time ago to let this go. I'm pretty sure Malibu told you the same thing. Like, I'm pretty sure your mom probably told you the same thing. Probably was like, yo, they got somebody doxing my grandson. They doing this, they doing that. I'm pretty sure basically everyone in your life told you to let this shit go. You did not. And so, um, so trying to blame it on the people. What about the, the ones that were telling you, hey, let it go? The 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 ones in your comments, because I've seen a lot in your comments and heard a lot of people saying, Hey, you know, maybe it's time to move on, Paris. Hey, we we will watch anything. We'll we'll watch your um your videos and then they end up not doing it. But I guess the two thousand or five hundred or a thousand of them that actually told you not to do it, they were the ones watching. The other people weren't watching. So no, you weren't compelled to do anything. It was something that you wanted to do. So you've said this a thousand times that you wanted to move on from the, from the Keisha stuff. And then it's like you, you try it for a little while and then you, you just can't handle it. It was like I have a previous video where I talked about how when you were trying to really like detox from Keisha, just how you had no energy talking about who it was, it Latrice Allen or Liv's Life or something and you were just all sad. And even when Malibu was like, so Paris, you're going to move on? And you were like, yeah. Like you were just, you had no energy. But when you broke that and when you came back and started talking about Keisha again, you had all this energy. You were laughing. You were like, ah, oh my God. Ah. No, you have no life unless you talk about Keisha. You, you even talked about it, but you referred to her as the K word. And shout out to my sis, my sisters, my team or whatever that got you so fucking spooked, bitch. You calling her the K word now. Okay. Anyway, so, and, and you know, he, he's trying to be on some, I met my peace, positivity kick, blah, blah, blah. He said this. Time to move on, because I just feel like it's time to move on. You know what I mean? You got you got your wish. I've woken up. I've seen the era of my ways. I've spent way too much time on the series. It's over. It's I mean, you see the area of your ways. If that video was kind of a low-key apology type, blah, blah. Oh, no, no. You see, you can't see the error of your ways and, and be sorry and all this other stuff when you lose. Now, if you were sorry still while in the middle of battle, the war that you declared on an innocent person that had nothing to do with anything, like if you were sorry then, you were only sorry when... Now that you're, you're off, now you want all this peace. And oh, it's peace. You want peace, so we ain't, ain't striking your ass. And getting you thrown off the net again. And you and you know that that, that channel might be gone. It probably would have been gone sooner, but maybe. I'm just saying, maybe. Um, it's only up because I needed to take some notes from it and it's about to come your channel about to come the fuck back down. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway. 
so yeah, th that was weird. Um, and so, you know, they asked you, you guys asked them some weird quest questions. This. Would you ever do a meet and greet? Yes, I will actually do a meet and greet. And I'm going to be doing a meet and greet with a special person that you guys know and love. And we will be announcing that in the future. And it's going to be this year. Um, and it's someone I love. It's somebody that's really close to me. Um, Malibu. Is that who? I mean, y'all, y'all may not, I wouldn't hold y'all's breath. But then again. The type of trouble that he's in, I think he has to go to Malibu for help. Like, I think that's the only way he's going to be able to kind of get out of this bond. But, you know, Malibu has his ways. Like, he goes off and he's all depressed and he don't want to do this and he's sabotaging his brain. Like, he, they're very unreliable. Like, I mean, freaking frack are unreliable. So, good luck with that because they were supposed to have something like way last year. Somebody asked this, bro. <laughs> uh this question is would you ever have sex with another woman um absolutely not <laughs> i am not into that i'm not into it mm -hmm. i like masculinity i like men i like muscles i like i like all that okay that's my thing okay i hope whoever that was they were trolling did somebody say another woman like who was the first woman not not him like are y'all still that crazy like do this dude have to like whip out his dick or something what you mean another woman and i told y'all in a previous video how he feels about females periods he does not want y'all in a house he does not want you in with a mouse he don't want y'all bitches here there he do not want y'all anywhere he does not like bitches <laughs> like he he don't like women no type of way he definitely don't want fuck none of them like he don't even like no he hangs with um, with guys, he likes masculine. He don't like females. Everybody that he's attacked online, it's been nothing but fucking females. Everybody. And people that's been helping him, like with this new bottom that's helping him, you know, it's been nothing but males. No, he, he don't like females. He's not about to fuck one. Like, are you serious? Have you lost your motherfucking mind? But would you have sex with? No, but he, he told y'all, like, absolutely not. Absolutely not, Mints. Absolutely not. He don't relate to us. He don't like us. No, he just, no. And he using y'all right now. Y'all fucking crazy. Golly. But somebody tripped me out in his comments. That's how fucking, I hope this was a fucking troll. And they, they ain't that fucking dense. But they said, um, they asked him something about. <laughs> he said, um, something about keto or something. It was like something about, um, I can't even find it. But it was like. How does keto, how do you do keto while on your period? You know, how do you stop from getting sick? And so, of course, you know them fucking old Negro spirituals and them whack-ass bitches, moderators and shit that he has now. I mean, you know they had to strike that shit, you know, but the person really don't know why they had to take that away. Just because they ain't know there was a man, he should answer. You know, how how is it, Paris, when you're on your period doing keto? Hmm? Huh, sir? I mean, and then... We gonna get into this. What happened between you and Hazel? Nothing happened between us. I feel like people wanted something to happen between us more so than it actually did. Um, I don't. I don't really feel like nothing happened between us. I. I didn't do nothing to her. I didn't come out. We didn't have like an argument. We didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel like people wanted it to be way more than it was. I'm not gonna give it to them. Um. But I always wish her all the best in life. I hope her still still sell out. I hope she, you know, I always still wish all the best for her. I'm, I'm that's the type of girl that I am. You know, I always wish the best for everybody. Why, why do you keep um, say, just say that you're a, a pussy ass nigga? Like, why does it always have to be about somebody else? And Paris, um, you know, before this shit even came out, I did a video. It's like five videos ago telling you about this shit i said this like four heads will be doing all kinds of stuff and four heads will just did something else to him that he don't know about and i you know what and i'm not gonna even say it at this point i don't think nobody know it was something that i'm some information that i'm privy to that she just did to him and like i said i mean i said in my last video oh, this this girl ain't good for you this girl did this but but the bitch is above me now so whenever you find out what the fuck that is um it is what it is, you know? 
So, um. Mm hmm I said that shit way on April 14th. Before all of those, um, you know, those, the, the, the messages and shit hit the internet. I said this a long time ago. I was privy to that information and all sorts of other fucking information. Just put it this way. You have no friends. And I didn't say anything. I didn't say a fucking word. I didn't say a fucking word. It's bullshit. You know, I didn't, I didn't say anything, but I'm going to tell you like this, this girl hates you. Like she hates the, she always did. She always will. Um, it's nothing that you like. She, she, ne she never once liked you. Never once liked you. But did I call it or did I call it? I told you it was more shit going on behind the scenes. Like what Hazel was doing other shit to you that you didn't fucking know. I didn't say a fucking word. I could have easily been like, yo, um, yeah, bitch, this is what happened. No, 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 no. Hazel, go ahead and do 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 the do the work of um <laughs> go ahead and be mob squad for life. Like, go ahead, help yourself. Nobody, nobody ran to you and told you none of this shit. And I, if if home people wanna out of you, you still wanna fucking know. So no, it's not a situation where they just want that to happen. Just just say you fucking scared. And I mean, just um chew your food and just move on. Like, just say you were fucking scared. And it's so weird that you were saying this about my, my, my good sis, my evil twin, Mink Mob D. Hey girl, you were saying how, oh my gosh, um, Zolo said this about your son and you ain't do nothing about it. Zolo said this, da, 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 and you ain't do nothing about it. Okay. Um, it wasn't as minor as you're trying to make it seem like, like, first of all, Hazel said that you got, you, you kept saying, Hazel, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Hazel's always said that you guys, he said, we were were associates so meaning whatever it was that y'all were is it's no more and i mean really 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 dragged you and messed over you why are you trying to put that off on other people or the reason why you too scary and want won't defend yourself on other people it has nothing to do with other people see you went after keisha not knowing or unprovoked or whatever because you're just like okay well that's soft feminine nice keisha she's not gonna want to fight me back she's gonna pay me dust you didn't realize that she would have like a a whole team of headbusters and all this other shit and would fight you back. So with Hazel, you already know Hazel or, or want to go back and forth. Hazel choose who she wants to go back and forth with. You know what I'm saying? But she'll go back and forth with your ass because I'm pretty sure you've already told her shit that, you know, you, you know, you're indebted to the bitch. You're obviously indebted. You already know not to smack your motherfucking teeth or that bitch going to tell all the shit that I know. <laughs> she going she gonna to tell all the shit and, and do all kind of other shit. You know what I'm saying? So please just, just say, that you're a pussy ass bitch. Like, so let, let's let's get into what Hazel did. Like Hazel, like I said quickly, Hazel took your followers. You're welcome. I mean, Hazel started pushing up fucking um while they were fighting with you, while people were while your followers were dragging you, dragging the hell out of you, started engaging and started dragging you too and pushing up the shit. You're welcome. Hazel got nothing but fucking money out of you. You're welcome. With those nasty ass products that's making you look worse than what you are. I can admit, like, I'll be looking at your shit sometimes. I'm like, I don't know. I did not know that that wasn't a, a man. But, bitch, you started using that whole shit. You starting to look mannish. So I had to, like, go back through video. I was like, what changed? You started putting all that shit on your face. That bitch shit, in my opinion, got you looking mannish as fuck. Like, even, bitch, it gave you more bone structure in your chin and everything. So, bitch, got you out here looking crazy with them roach butter products that you promoted for filth. You're welcome. Bitch talked about, Ben said to your main op or whatever, fuck you. You're welcome. Bitch took a lot of your followers. So that's, um, that's why your fucking, um, your damn, your chat was just, just like a trash bin. Like it was just some trashy assholes. Like Hazel took the majority. So now you just got a bunch of old Negro spirituals, outcast, dingy assholes. Just just uninteresting assholes so your shit was not lit it wasn't lit at all and hazel took the motherfuckers from you and hazel probably pushed you up to go you know curse them fucking girls out and shit like that you're welcome and uh, let me see what else is hazel hazel has done so much hazel fucking outed you behind your back without you knowing you're welcome hazel called your fucking sister trans you're welcome i mean hazel did all kind of shit to you and just uh, and your scary punk ass didn't do shit about right, it. Right, you didn't do nothing about it. So no, like you want to push other people up to fight and all this other shit. You still scared of that girl. Do not try to put us in there. We we knew you wasn't going to do nothing. We know you're a pussy. Don't be like, oh, da, 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 da. no, you have no fight. You just want to.
fight Keisha because Keisha don't want to be your friend. You have no fight. And like I said, that, that's another female. You would think you would jump on the chance to fight that bitch, but you won't do it. So like I said, stop saying that shit that we want to see this. If you wanted to see this, we could have made it happen sooner, bitch. We could have. But nobody cares. Okay? Okay. And you know, he also said this. But I just appreciate people that did do commentary on me and humanized me. Like, as the, I want to say my worst trait about me that I did in the, in the past was the simple fact that my mouth was crazy. You know, that's pretty much all I did. Like, I popped shit. And I was so happy that there's people who can say, you know what, at the end of the day, this bitch did pop shit, but this is a human. Like, now, I don't know if, I don't really watch other people that will do content on Paris or anything, so I don't know who he's talking about, but I do know that I said this. So, bro, it would hurt me more than he knows. Like, if he were, if something were to happen to him, let's just put it that way. I mean, I know it sounds weird. Oh, you make all these bad Paris. At the end of the day, I know what he did to Keisha. I know what he did was wrong. I understand that, but he's still a human being. He's still a member of the LGBT community, even though he does not claim it. And you know, um, yeah. you know, he has mental yeah, 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 issues. yeah. So I mean, I definitely humanized him. You know what I'm saying? And all this other stuff. Like I said, I'm a human being. Like I don't know this dude personally. You know, I, I don't want nothing to happen to him. So, bitch, if you just wanted to say directly to me, you just wanted to say, Jade, oh goddess, you know, thank you for humanizing me when. Even motherfuckers on my other side was was dehumanizing me and tearing me the fuck down and ignoring me, not picking up the phone. Like, that was like a, a slight light. It, it was the right message, wrong messenger. You know, I would have preferred if it would have came from somebody else. But, you know, that little bit or whatever, you know, that was that that was cool. I didn't expect that. If you want to say thank you, you're welcome, bitch. You're, you're definitely welcome. You know, so, um, like I said, I, I, I don't give a shit. I still stand behind. I still wish that you just, I don't know, go find go find something else to do. Like, I, I don't want to see you back in depression. I don't want to see all this other shit. But I don't want to see you fuck with me or mine. I just don't. So, I mean, um, yeah. So, um, then, <laughs> this was so funny. <laughs> this was so funny. Um, <laughs> this dude said this. So, the girls keep on hitting me up. The girls that don't like me. And I don't know, what is this thing about girl hands? They keep talking about girl hands to me. Like, is that supposed to be like a jab at me or something like that? Well, I mean, I guess it is. The girls talk about me about girl hands. Like, it's supposed to be a jab at me. The girls won't let it go. They won't drop it. But when they... You know what? I was about to be shady, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to let the people that, you know... It's not my fault that some girls can't wear an off-the-shoulder jacket because they don't have... They got linebacker shoulders, you know? It's, it's now, Paris. Um, now you know fucking well, like, uh, what is up with you and friend mom? Y'all's obsession with my, me and my crew saying girl hands. Like, what the fuck? First of all, with friend, bitch, you, why would you use a manicured set as your fucking you've never gotten your nails the fuck done and they'd be dirty. So I wouldn't want to bring attention to no type of hands. But then, bitch, you know, I say girl hands at the end of every video and you watch every fucking video. You know what I'm saying? Like that one video where I actually humanize you. That's why I said, no, bitch, you were thanking me. Well, a part of it or whatever. You did a comment and then you took it away. So I know you saw the video. I know you see my shit. I know you see my shit. Or maybe you just didn't realize. I said it in a, a previous video what it was. But what the fuck are you even talking about? Oh my gosh, you know, her shoulders, their shoulders and all this other stuff. Like, what the fuck are you, what? Okay, um, you say I can't show my shoulders, but bitch, can you show yourself? I bet I can show that twat. I bet I can show myself in a fucking um, bikini bottom top or whatever. In a, a string one at that, you know what I'm saying? But see, you can't do nothing near that. So you, you do stupid shit to hide that dick like, you'll take pictures in them fucking Wrangler jeans that you had to cut up and you turned them into Daisy Dukes and you put a fucking tie thing in front of them just so, you know, you could hide that big ass dick. Like, no. So you worried about the wrong shit. Like, I don't give a shit about shoulders, about size. What what matters to me is I'm I'm very happy with whatever gender that I am. Well, no, let me, let me not say whatever gender. I am... Female, it's not like I identify as female. I'm a chick, you know, 
um period wasn't that long ago and all this other stuff so i would never feel bad me or nobody in my crew would feel bad about somebody who hates something as bad about themselves as their fucking gender like you don't even want to be a boy so no 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 i mean you want to you want to do a bikini challenge since you was like oh i'm just so such and such and such let's do a fucking the skimpiest bikini we could fucking come up with bitch and let's see which one of straight men gonna fucking want, bitch? Out of me and you. And, and, and they ain't gonna pick you because they straight. You know? So, no, bitch. No, 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 no. But anyway, <laughs> bitch say off the shoulder jacket. And then that's another thing. It's so weird that you would do those off the shoulder jacket, like take the jacket and put it off your shoulders and shit because you're trying to um, show that you don't have a breastplate, which we already know you dusted it, how you had to do it. You, you've been doing it for years, you know, whatever. So you will try to prove that you ain't got no breastplate, but you show for damn sure don't want to fucking prove how you ain't got no dick plate. You don't want to prove that shit. So wh wh where's some do gray sweatpants challenge, bitch? <laughs> do that, bitch. Do do that. But no, you will try to go to the ends of the earth. We also said you had a dick, but you don't acknowledge that. You won't try to disprove or dispel that. Okay, so let's let's work on that. You let, let's say you don't, which you, you got a fucking drug let's pray, but let's just give it to you. Say you don't. Okay, we said we also said you got a dick. Dispel that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Stupid ass. Um, and then this nigga gonna gonna say this. I am a very feminine being, and I attract a very masculine energy. I feel like I attract the type of masculine energy that obsesses over my feminine energy. I love masculine dominant energy and i'm a very submissive and uh feminine being myself so no 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 the the, the masculine niggas they they <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me they're attracted to um i need another cough drop but um yeah they're attracted to, to real women they're no you're not you're not you're not feminine especially when you do shit like this well, Don't I told her it's a bumpy ride. The only thing permanent is the only thing permanent is like you smack your food. Yeah, you fucking smack your food, and so I couldn't really hear too much over that fucking um. <laughs> bat, I was not even gonna call it a bathhouse over that fucking Salvation Army public swimming. Sell, swimming pool that you were at with the fucking 50 million kids and shit like that like I um couldn't really hear over that shit like it's just oh my gosh like no but you smack your food so you saying all these dudes be spending money on you they're taking you on dates you really going out on dates with people and you smacking like that you and like I say that was only cause you can't really hear too much of that but no he really really smacks he was smacking keto chips on twitch and eat with your mouth open like you know you got bad table manners and shit like you must come from a horrible family like amina nobody else ever told you look hey you gotta chew with your mouth closed no that's not feminine it's not given that you fucking with high value niggas it's not given none of that and so you finally went on a what you call a date or something with somebody um within the last whatever years child one no nothing but nobody you to fucking met out in the park I was like hey let's just just walk next to me please i'll pay you i ain't got number ten dollars but i'll pay you you know just just to make it look like it, it's i'm going so no bitch you're not going on nothing because you're talking too much about it i'm going on all these dates you you go from i can't even get out of the bed and i'm doing bad to oh i'm doing wrong i'm going no bitch you're not doing none of that so yeah but no, bitch, close your mouth when you eat, you know, especially if you're trying to mimic being a high value girl or whatever the fuck. I just thought that was so fucking aggy and disgusting. Oh my gosh. And it was just candy you were eating. Bitch, what the fuck you do with hamburgers and shit? Oh my gosh. Anyway. So, um, yeah. So anyway, this fool, this, which, which goes into the other thing. Now he said he was going to have to do something, you know, with Malibu and stuff like that. And um, this is the real reason why he came back. Make sure you guys support all of the hair content as well, okay? Because that's coming. So my next couple uploads are going to be hair content. So support those videos. Please, please, please support the hair videos um, and make the sponsors happy so they can all be, you know, excited to come back and keep being with us. I have like eight sponsored videos coming. So, yeah. Support those. 
we can get that ball back growing and um I, I make my sponsors happy they make me happy i make you happy it's a nice exchange but i love y'all rights 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 okay <laughs> yeah okay so i mean i mean who said this i started getting threatening messages before it even happened but literally there's some girl i don't know if you guys have seen her but she's some ugly girl and she runs some basic ass hair company hmm. now when he first got thrown off of youtube i noticed something i peeped something okay now do y'all remember when he um when he was just bragging talking about oh you know, Mal was giving me all these hair companies and blah, 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 blah. I got all these hair, oh, I got sponsorships on sponsorships. And he was just taking them back to back and back to back to back and left and right. And just bragging about them. But you know, he's very unreliable, right? So, um, yeah. So, with those hair companies, like I said, they're hard up. Like, as soon as they send you the wig, because like I said, my, my, um, my cousin is a, really does it. When they send it to you, it's like, before you even got it out the pack, they were like, where's my, where's this, where's that? And so, you know, Paris just had a lot of them, was taking a bunch at the, at the same time, you know, trying to supplement his income that he was, you know, missing out on. He wasn't monetizing. It was just all sorts of stuff, you know. So he took a bunch of them. So I know it's like a bunch of them that, that aren't a lot of money. They'll be like $30 and, you know, for the wig. But a lot of that shit adds up. A lot of it really, really, really adds up. Okay. So... If he don't, okay, so for instance, it was one that he had that was going to come out. It was by, um, I'm just going to call them Bigany Hair or whatever. And so he was supposed to be doing something that night, you know, doing theirs or whatever. But he got, you know, thrown off the internet, you know, got he got everything or whatever, and he couldn't really do that. So what he was doing when he first got demonetized, he was still... You notice he would still, even though the other channel was monetized, he would still do the hair reviews on that other channel, right? That's because when he made the deal with the hair companies, it was for a 25K, you know, channel that gets so many views, right? So when he started doing it in the beginning, before he was even demonetized, he was getting the, um, he was still be able to do it on the channel, but he wasn't getting the same views that his other content was getting and they were basically wanting those same views. They didn't want, you know, a thousand views and stuff like that. And with the Keisha content, he's getting that. So y'all notice he started doing stupid shit. Like he'll talk about Keisha. The video would be about Keisha, but then he'll be doing a wig at the same time. So he was basically, in order for you guys to watch the wig content, he will start talking about Keisha. Yeah, because she did this. Oh yeah, but this is also how I call it. You know, just so he can get the same views, you know, doing that, he was trying to use that for that. But like I said, he had gotten so many of them, he never fulfilled none of them, right? So, um, then he said this line. Um, but now that I don't have to worry about my sponsorships right now on YouTube, I'll definitely make time to like do that. And it's great. Like, I told my sponsors what's going on. They're willing to follow me to whatever platform I end up going to if I don't go back to, um... If I don't go back to YouTube or whatever, so I'm good. I mean, but no, that's a lie. So, y'all know, I, I be doing my detective work. So, you know, one of the companies, you know, I, you know, somebody, me or somebody I know may have reached out to them and asked that same question, you know. Some some stuff I might not show for, you know, I don't want to get nobody in trouble. But I definitely reached out to the hair company. <laughs> And what Paris is saying is no, no. If they if they made the agreement to do this on that platform, they they don't want to. No, Twitch, you got a thousand. No, no, that that's not. And so the thing about that, they already gave him the money, so he's not gonna give him the money back. Like I said, with his with it only being thirty dollars, twenty dollars, and all this other shit, with eight, because this this fool said he got eight coming up. So with eight, that that could that can add up. So not just the hair. A lot of times they'll do. I mean, not just the hair, not just the money. They give you the money and the hair. So it's not like he would, he would just, he would owe the money. Plus he would owe the hair. So you remember he had a hair, a wig sale and you know, he's very irresponsible. So I feel like some of those wigs, either I feel like, or I know some of those wigs, those $17 wigs and $30 wigs or whatever that he was supposed to do reviews on, he sold them. So 
I mean, if you want to give this particular company back their, their stuff, you got to give them the money and the wig. So he's in trouble. He don't have the money. He ain't got the wigs. He ain't got none of that. Like he, all he going to do is he's going to be like, well, how am I going to do a review on it? If I don't have the wig, this dude got a bunch of $17 wigs. All he going to do is do it on a, a wig similar that he does have and be like, and try to lie. Cause you know, he's a pathological liar. He'll lie about shit directly in your face and be like, well, what do you mean? Um, this is the wig that you guys sent me. This is the unit that you sent me. They must have sent the wrong one. You know he's going to try to talk his way out of shit. So that's all he's going to do. Because this dude said eight. So he was like, you saw how he was begging y'all? Begging y'all. Y'all, please support the support the hair content. Support the hair content. But Paris, like I said, I, I've um, reached out and no, that's not true. It You're not going you're not gonna to get it. You're not going to get the views. You're not going to get that. You're not going to do none of that. Like, it's not going to... You you just in fucking trouble. So, like I said, he only came back to you guys in order to get you to watch his hair content so he can do that. So, that's another reason why I feel like he's going to get Malibu to try and help him. But I don't see Malibu helping him eight times. So, Malibu, be careful with that because, bitch, you know, you might get struck having that nigga on your motherfucking channel. Like, I mean, you're already looking crazy by telling everybody he's a real girl and all this other shit. So... The only way he would be able to, 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 like I said, to fulfill that, he'd have to like be like, well, my friend is going to let me do it on his channel. You know, he'd have to do some shit like that or, or just have Malibu. It's something. But like I say, he 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 the fucking trouble. That's the only reason why he, he gave y'all a little content, told y'all he don't want to do this shit. And at the end, he started begging y'all, yes, because I'm going to do eight. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. So, yeah. So he did not fulfill none of the things that he was supposed to fulfill. He just didn't do it. He and They gave him enough time because... Even when they gave it to him, he still just, he still held it for months and shit like that. But people been gave this dude this hair. So that's why a lot of these companies are getting mad at him. And you saw how they were saying he was, they're trolling him and doing all kind of shit to him and threatening all kind of legal shit. And they're doing all kinds of stuff. So they want it on a YouTube channel. That's what they want it on. They don't want it on his TikTok that got this. They don't want it on that. So he's in trouble. Like I said, some of these companies, they're not as they're not as ladylike or whatever as the other ones. So that's why he's getting trolls and they doing this and they doing that. Them people, they, they messing over him. He's going to have to go to court all in China and all kind of other shit over some little wigs and shit. And his credit with the hair shit, it ain't good no more. Ain't nobody else going to send him shit else. So like I said, guys, I, I think that's all I had. Um... Yeah, that that's that's the one and only reason. And I like I said, I peeped that shit. I was like, wait, didn't he say he had that? I was like, oh my gosh, he gonna do this. So no, that that's all. So he gonna try to like keep quiet or keep something just to get, I guess, to give them something. Be like, well, you wanted it on a YouTube page. Be like, no, we wanted it on one that was twenty five k. And yeah, one of his hair vendors, you know. Mark my words, y'all. Mark my words. You know, I might release the, the full thing in the, the member section. You never know. But, um, yes. So, uh, let's see. What's my next, my next video? Um, I'll probably just tell y'all tomorrow, okay? Well, thank you guys for watching. And once again, girl hands, girl hands, girl hands, girl hands. Bathing suit challenge coming soon. Let me shut up. Bye, y'all.